getting close. I'm gonna double check that you can hear my bullshit. Live? No? Videos? Come on, bitch. Live now. And I hear it myself. Come on. You can do it. I don't want to record this whole thing if I'm not going to be able to hear it. Okay, good. Sounds right. Okay. So, I got something. So, Court of the Penitents. That's the second to last quest. Council of Stars. Okay. To Frith Ammon. So, we decided to get Hylia's uh, favor. And nobody else's, because everybody else wanted me to do stuff that was kind of shitty. I mean, I still had to kill a dragon for Hylia, but the dragon was killing people and whatever. It seemed more legit. So, we're not gonna do this. No, we are gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. This. Uh, we don't have her with us. Let's see. Talk to Durance about Wodica. That just popped up. Let's talk to Durance, bro. What? What is it, Watcher? It stinks of her. It is justice. But if her greater purpose was to think Margaret would fall prey to such deceit. And Aethys. Widewin had always claimed to be invading Deerwood to free it. What if it were true? What if he had come to stop Woodica's plot before it began? So his uh, god, Magrin, got him and 11 other people together to make something called a god hammer and killed Aethys. So Aethys, if was coming to stop Woodica, that would have been a good thing. And they fucked up. Surely Aethys earned his death at Godhammer Citadel, but not for those reasons. Not to keep him silent. If such a thing has brought about this chaos. Must we always be tools of gods? If Woodica and Margrin, if they are the cause of this, the hollowborn, if the purges were never necessary, if Aethys was fighting back. Uh... Yeah, what are the purges? We started saving the Aeothasians from themselves. Burning any that didn't die with their god. Oh god. Heresy in Rayad Ceres is one thing. Heresy here in the Deerwood comes with a more personal touch. As I see it, every Aeothasian who still lives in the Deerwood puts the nation at risk. Is another dagger held to the throat of our faith. Root them out, burn them, or send them back to Rayad Saras to wallow in the blood of their failure. Uh, I wanted to... That's not what I want. That was highly unsatisfying. Hold the fuck on. I wanna... I thought I could go back and say, yes, you created the, the God Hammer to save Deerwood and you fucking may have destroyed it. That was what I wanted, but I didn't know what the purges were. The dialogue options and trees are not to my liking sometimes in this game. So we'll just load it and do it again. Even though it, nothing will happen that's different. But I just, from a, a role-playing perspective, my questions weren't answered. Even though I, like, I don't even like role-playing. Even though I'm playing a role-playing game. Don't question it. Mm. It's taking so long. Uh. 
I really feel like I could beat this game today. And I'd like to be done with it. I'm like 65 hours in. And I wasn't gonna even stream this, but if I, let's see, did I quick save? No, I, I, Durin's fucked up. Oh no, that's different. Dragon dead, getting close. I think it was this one. Right? Yeah. Some people have been, uh, logging on regularly to watch me play this, so if they wanted to see the end, it would kind of be a dick move to string them along all this way and then not show the end, just because I played it at a different time. So whatever. Talking to you, <gasps> dude. I often what is it this thing, republics? There, it at stinks. Least, the people value trade. It is justice. Surely Aethus earned his death at God Hammers. Must we always be tools of gods? If Woodica and Margrid, if they are the cause of this, the Hollowborn, if the purges were never necessary, if Aethus was fighting back, this is the one. So many lies. And Woodica, perhaps she is the next god to fall beneath the god hammer. No, it. I am glad to have walked this far with you, seen this truth. Perhaps it was what I was meant to see, with a watcher's eyes. All these dances of words and intrigues, machines of men, Twisted, ripping the souls of children and by the gods, the goddess of justice. If I could end her like Aethys, I. Margren burned her once. One can do so again. Woodica, she must answer to her own justice. Anyone with a shred of spirit seeks both justice and punishment. It burns in the heart of anyone who lives. All seek it. If the world does not balance, we all drown in the oceans. And the gods would not care. Margaret, she must be redeemed. And punishing Woodica, that will serve. Is this some final joke at my expense? To test my faith further? And why would you think that, Watcher? Um. If all you have are questions, then I have enough of those. She is a bitch of a goddess, <laughs> to be sure. But even a whore only goes so far in crossing those she serves. You answer a question with a question. <laughs> yeah. Then why did I feel her disappointment at Halgot? Why were we shamed? Is this a good answer? I don't know. Kill me. She is a goddess. I still drink from her burning breast, Watcher. If she wished me dead, she could trace me to my source and kill me. Ooh. There's no proof, Watcher. I was a fool to think you could help me see any farther than I could. I don't know why I'm pushing this so hard. I don't actually know what I'm trying to get him to talk about or think. They died in the past, yes. The other eleven. I was the only one to walk away. I thought we had wronged our goddess. That this was my trial, and if I could prove myself worthy, worthy of her, I should have known better. 
There is only one God of redemption, and I saw him end. quite a scream. To think I served her. I followed her. Now I shall serve no one. Woodica's lies must be answered. It seems I must take fire and war from a goddess's false claim as well. I still take from her strength as I did, for as long as it lasts. For I shall not cast her aside yet, until I have drained her dry and had my fill, just as she intended for me. See, if I wouldn't have reloaded, you wouldn't have heard all this nonsense. For I have learned one of the lessons of the faithful. The faithful may wound a goddess greater than any enemy. A purification is coming, and this fire shall consume them both. Sure. Let's go fuck them up. Hooray! Trials of Durance completed. We have done it. Okay, we need to go do this too. Trade of all things is true, and competition between the republics is sure. so strong. Rawatai is a unified nation with fleeter ships. Someday it may prove a worthy competitor. There's more to dominating trade than fat ships. Maybe you could write a poem to help your countrymen figure it out. Is that a diss? Um, are they talking about me? No, he's talking about the other guy. Many blessings, traveler. We already know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Sagani, you do things. Okay. okay quick save. So we need to go here. Here. Yeah, we'll go here. And then we'll go to Hylia's old where those people were waiting. And then we'll go to Burial Isle. And then it should be the last fucking quest. We are almost done. This would be quite a success. She needs to go here to talk about trade or some bullshit. We can also sleep. Everybody's fucked up. Before we go to Burial Isle. Keep burping. I've been following.
Okay, she wants to talk to this lady. Wait. I don't, I don't know, know if I should go through with this. Make, make the, the trade, trade deal with the Anamintha. Anamintha? I didn't know how to say that. If a valiant deal with the Glanfadens weakens the Deerwood, it could mean war for the Republics in the future. I could put the idea in the Anamantha's head that the Republics are not interested in exclusive trade, but limited trade of goods that they do not already trade with the dear Woodlands. Uh, that would be nice. I mean, it is the right thing to do. Listen to your heart. Nod head, smiling warmly. That's it. My position in the Brotherhood gone. I can't believe I just made up new trade terms to the Glanfad and Anamenfa. Postenad. Verus. They have a saying in Biagete. New gold clears even the oldest debts. If I'm right, all will be forgiven. If not, there's nothing I can do about it now. So the long and short of that was they wanted them to not trade with the Deerwoodians anymore. And they knew they could get away with it because all of their babies are born without souls. So it's not like uh, they're going to be able to reinvigorate their war force with youngins that grow up anytime soon because... There ain't no youngins, so it was kind of shitty, and so we told them not to do that, because it was dick move. So, whatever. I've kind of just been making choices on, this feels the least icky. It was the same with the, um, what you call it, the witch god to deal with, because they all want you to promise... Uh, that you will do their bidding at the end, but you can only do one's bidding. And only one of them uh, said stuff that wasn't completely like, eh, that makes me feel icky. So I did that one. And then I was like, sure. And then I cheated a little bit. I looked at what each of them would have required if I would have done their uh, goal, and it still feels the least icky. So I think I made a, a proper choice. And if not, the game will be over soon. It will not affect my life to any great length. <laughs> okay, so we're going to sleep here. Good day to you. Yes, I would like to get a room. Um, resolve might and constitution sounds nice. Look at all that money I have. I can sleep wherever the fuck I want. What is this? Zealous focus. No. Oh. She gives you, this lady uh, gives me some definite benefits just by her existence in my party. Um, let's see. Does anybody need? Okay, I don't need that. What is this? 
Bear hide. Sorry, I'm gonna play the inventory game for a second. Dragon meat. Um, let's see, that's a dare's thing, that's mine. Let's see, exceptional sword. That's bullshit. Swaddling sheet. What's overwhelming wave? Oh. Do you have? do you need stuff? No, I've given you stuff. I'm sure. Okay, you could use another. Let's see. 15 to 21. That's no good. Uh. And this is pretty good, right? Yeah. Is it enchanted as much as it can be enchanted? Yes. Ah, a ring. Here we go. Might. Bitch, get that might! Yeah. Alright. Okay. And what kind of shoes did I give you? Oh, that exalted hands. That was, that was a good choice. Good choice, me. Oh, do I still not have enough to do this? Oh, dragon egg, not dragon meat. Yeah, make that. Craft that. Oh. And one more thing. I wanted to make sure Aloth had all of the spells in here. Ah, he didn't have that one. Dimensional shift. Capricious hex. It's got four spots. Let's see. Do I have any se level seven things? <gasps> I don't. Man, I could have seven and eight? Where the fuck do you get that shit? Alright. So now we're gonna go to the temple. Double check I don't have any quests to turn in over there. Where's the closest exit? Is it here? Run, bitches. Weren't doing that, wouldn't do that, wouldn't do that. Travel to burial aisle. Fantastic. And I don't have any tasks left. Fuck yes! This is exciting. I'm gonna finish this fucker. Only got one more place to go. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna go up here first. Oh dang. The fuck was that? Hey. We saw you go up the mountain. Well, what happened? I killed a dragon, bitch. She means to say that. We're both very relieved to see you're safe. Yes, of course, that too. Praise the Sky Mother and thanks to you too. Changing I your- I told you that an attack was the way to go. Changing your fucking tune. And the Queen of Birds saw fit to bless us with a capable warrior. 
It is a shame that such a rare champion of the skies had to perish. All winged life is sacred to our goddess. Still, it is better that we can return to worship at the nest. Thank you. Not to presume too much, but you might pray to Helia when you visit Terra. did it. She was grateful to all who ate her. She's stoked on me. Oh, good. They gave me seven. Oh, who's this guy? Who are you? All right. This is very much in-game bullshit. I think, uh... What's the over-under on how quick I can beat this? I hope it's a small place. I hope it's quick. I hope I'm done with this in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> I very much enjoyed the game, don't get me wrong. But, I am pretty done with it. Sit back and chill. Okay. That's some bullshit. Gonna pay me an experience. Some bitches. The end, please. So close. Oh, this is for a cartoon. And film but still no pay builders wisdom to you take me across dog burial isle the last place So many hours. Sixty-six. Ooh. Quest updated. Find the court of the penitents. The penitent man will pass. Um. I hope I don't I have, have to return. Trod more secret and sacred places in your company than I could have imagined. I remember when I was a girl, and the missionaries came and told us about the gods. They said we could see them in the stars. I remember when I heard that. I snuck out at night and climbed the watchtower in the old fort because I wanted to see them better. That fort burned down a few years ago when we cast the missionaries out. It was the missionaries who set fire to it. They didn't want us to be able to use it. Shame. There was history in that fort. Uh... Who? I don't know the answers to this, and I don't even know if I'm actually answering her, if my soul is answering her, or fucking, she's, this is some past thing I'm seeing. This has always been a confusing thing about this fucking game. I 
I miscalculated many things since this began. I'm relieved you weren't one of them. It's a good thing we didn't hang you. Like, is she actually talking to me, or is she talking to me as a past self? I don't fucking know. I always knew this path would have consequences. But I never wanted to see Kratum suffer on my behalf. Now I know what Kratum is. I don't think I can stay here any longer. I am told the Inquisition is gathering an army. That they have sent messengers to bargain with rulers from distant lands. Kratum is not built to withstand a siege. If war is coming, I should be doing what Theos is doing. I will need allies. Allies and a stronghold that can resist an invading army. So, okay. This is one thing that I never seem to have a problem with in Baldur's Gate. Everything seemed very simple. Even though... I mean, it wasn't simple. It was about a god and his children and fighting each other and whatever. But it's like... Like, I don't know what Kratum is. Like, where it is. Do I care about it? Have you thought about Oceanus? I don't know who the fuck that is either. They just, like, throw around terms and names, and I don't really grasp it because there's too many. There's too many things, and I don't know what is actually important. Oceanus. They have held off many would-be invaders. Ah, it's a place, I guess. And their king has no love of the Inquisition's faith. I wonder, would he listen? Maybe it's all supposed to show me that things are confusing and I'm hearing things about lives I don't know. But it's just making me confused and angry. You know? No, I'm not releasing that guy. He tried to kill me. He can go fuck himself. So what, what the hell is this? Are those good things? It's a pretty big map. Feral druid. Let's dance, fucker. matter if you're stuck if you're close to the guy just fucking kill him Sh swing you your partner round and round oh. oh they're fucking with me back here that's not cool here oh i don't have hold on kill the feral druid first oh everybody's okay give me give me a little heals this bro maybe you get over here and who are you here yeah maybe okay here I'll put them back here you guys keep on this guy you 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 clear out the back how about hey. You, you two, or you three, have a party over there. No, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, now everybody. All together now, all together now.
quick save. You're all doing great. Got it. Just clear out the edge like we normally do. Ooh, what's this? Go get that. Go get that, Ayla. Oh, look at all that money. I didn't know that existed. Answering texts while I'm doing this. Hashtag don't judge me. Oh, hi. What's all this? Is this leading me to good things or bad things? Um, this seems like the way to go, which means I don't really want to go there. I, want, I still want to clear out everything. If I'm. Oh, did I not pick this? There's a hole over there. Get over there, dummy. You're gonna turn bad in any second now. You gonna turn bad? Or are you gonna be my friend forever? Fantastic. Is it still called an SE? What's in here? Blocked passage. Maybe I don't want to go there yet. Maybe I want to clear everything out. See what's here. Those just kind of poofed. They did talk about burning a bunch of people. Like my former self did it or something. My former self sounds like a dickwad. And thank you. Quit. Um, do you got problems? Okay. Oh, 
everybody's paralyzed now. That's no good. Move. Use your... Make everybody die in this area. I should have tried to sell some of these gems that I have gotten. Look at all this bullshit. Uh, like, well, I guess I don't have a ton. 29 Adra, Bloodstones, Garnets, Balloon. I think they're just good for money. Uh oh. I keep thinking this is something, but it's not. Just, where are you? I better quick save this. I don't know what the fuck's this. This looks like weird things. Oh, they're just those things. Okay. Got shit on them specters, bro. Why can't you all just get close enough to things to kill it? That's the biggest problem. I feel like I'm pretty jacked. At this point, I'm, I'm maxed out. Like, experience for PAL, 12th level. Sure. This seems like a very big. Uh... See, I bet climbing up this just gets me here, which gains me nothing. This seems like burial grounds. Wait a minute, what am I supposed to do? The sun and shadow. This is probably it. I mean, it's a giant staircase. Let's go make sure we've cleared out all this. Even though I want this game to be over, I want to make sure I pick up every stupid thing. Oh, a necklace of might. That's pretty good. What kind of what kind of necklace you got, bro? Perception. I don't think that get that. You don't need that. You need to be a big dumb jock. Did that give you anything? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Might. You don't need to be perceptive. You just need to bash skulls and protect people. Okay. 
Alright. Oh. Let me pick this up. Alright. Let's see. Burial grounds, blocked passage, burial grounds, grotto of echoes. Was I supposed to do anything there? You're just like, cool. It's the Grotto of Echoes. I don't know what to do with that. Go up this damn staircase. Quick save. Okay, more stuff flying at me. Let's collect them all, just because I don't know what they do. Oh, this looks like a, a pit. Another turn, Inquisitor. Uh, I ask again, Yovara Exensios, do you confess to these heresies of which you stand accused? Seems bad. Do you confess to apostasy? I confess to renouncing a mistake. Do you confess to conspiracy against the one true faith? I confess to opening minds. Do you confess to false prophecy? I confess to following a false prophet. Indignant in death. Indeed. And where might we find this heretic? He wears the robes of a grand inquisitor. Uh, is that me? My old soul? You have no followers here, heretic. Your lies hold no sway in the court of the penitents. Oh, that's where we're supposed to find. <laughs> Only my truth, then. Another turn. Oh, she's on the crank. Eesh. No! Wait! Wait! I'm ready. I'm... You are ready to give a confession? I'm ready to hear one from you. Yikes. Bitch got pulled apart. You get to the bottom, holler up here. Let me know if it's safe. Let's let's give a I'm gonna look around. Might as well give it a, a save. This seems like a appropriate place for it. Okay. Hurry up already. <laughs> My save game names are getting more restless. I just want to beat it, you know? A great pit lies in the shadow of the statue of Wodaka. No light from the surface reaches the bottom. Even so, you catch flickers of a ghostly glow in the depths. A wind from the pit buffets you. Or... I don't even... Yeah. 
It isn't cold, but it raises goose flesh along your arms. <laughs> goose flesh. The wind carries a whisper, low and sibilant. As you look into the pit, souls gather around you. They encase you in a cloud of essence that swirls around your body while you consider your next move. Jump into the pit, bitch! The end. You jump, trusting in the promises of the gods and the power of the souls you bear. To s oh, I, I, I had souls. I see. To bear you safely down. The sudden drop takes your breath away, but the souls catch you, encasing you in a shining, thrumming aura. But while they slow your descent, you can still feel that you are falling faster than you should. The essence flowing around you is strong, but chaotic. You find yourself drifting toward the wall. Uh-oh. Nearby, Kana drifts downward at a rapid pace, carried by another glowing stream of souls. Ah! Why did I ever agree to this? Kana flails outwardly briefly and then steadies, holding his arms out for balance. It's hard to keep. Mila, look out! The wall! Yeah, you got, you got, uh... Um, is he in trouble? Get yourself chill. Concentrating, you focus on the essence around you and knit it together in your mind. What was a jumble of souls becomes a single entity, coordinated and purposeful. It steers you to safety at the center of the pit. You manage to spread your arms and legs into an X, steadying your position and the rate of your descent. You start to feel more comfortable until you notice that Durance is still falling too fast. Durance plummets, failing and out, flailing and out of control. You could attempt to rescue, but the ground is approaching fast. It will take a feat of speed and agility to avoid injury. Uh-oh. Die for him, man. The ground is rising fast, and you're not quite fast enough. You snatch Durance out of free fall, but you're unable to regain control over your own momentum and time. You take the brunt of the impact, landing hard against the millennia-old stones of the Court of the Penitents. Is it just Durance that's hurt? Or me? Hmm. After what seems like an eternity, your rapid descent comes to an abrupt end. You remain still for a moment while your heart settles and your eyes adjust, breathing in stale, forgotten air. Before you, a narrow and eroded walkway becomes faintly visible in the dim light, cutting a winding path through a cavern so expansive it seems a world unto itself. In the distance, you can make out the cold gleam of living Adra veins that spike and fork in and out of view from the murky depths beneath. Their glow a faint and fleeting guide along the ancient trail. You look above at the opening you jump through, now barely a speck of light like some distant star alone in the cosmos and forever out of reach. Your only way lies ahead. There now is but one choice. Hashtag Gandalf. Who's hurt? I'm better than I expected. Look at all those points. All right. No shattered knees. Good. Just me, then. That was bracing. Bruised ribs. Quest completed. Are you telling me all the things that are failed and completed? I mean, all of these should go the fuck away. Memories of the Ancients. That's the very last one, right? Yes. Fuck yes. Soon. Soon this all ends. Oh, here. Completed... I want to see this. So, completed Act 3, only 15.7% of players have this achievement. So, most people don't complete this game. Enter the sun and shadow. This is where Theos is bound. Time to make decisions, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and not sleep. Only my character has. Ooh, traps triggered. Maybe. Yeah. You should give it a little look. Yeah, traps. All right. Page unturned. Good. I'm glad. 
I cannot access the stronghold here. Some bitch. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it didn't. Oh, I failed to disarm the trap. I don't have enough mechanics. No problem. Well, how about? Hmm. Just find them. Just find them. You ain't gotta disarm them. Oh, hey, dick. There's more people. There's... Wait for him to come. Hey, what up? Oh, you, you a long shooter boy. Maybe shoot him behind you. I believe in you. You can do it. Cool. Good job, boys. Activate. Pelagia activates denial. Activates anger. <laughs> activates depression. Hmm. How big is this place? Not that big? Got it. Hmm. Start your bullshit. Find all them traps. Hmm. Oh, hi. Animats. Okay, dickwads. Let's go. Come on over here. Good. All lined up in a line. Just what I like. second to die. Why won't you die? Oh, it's because somebody's healing you, I see. Well, maybe knock him down. Hmm, I'm new to that. I'm not sure which one heals me. Oh my god, which one's doing the healing, you jerkwad? Maybe they don't won't heal you. Good. That's not Fancy stuff. That's I don't know. Great, you got no one to heal you now, you hit. Hmm, <laughs> look at all this junk. I'll take it all. I bet it's got mm -hmm. a trap on it. What do you want to bet? Yep. This? So predictable. Lore giving. Resolve, dexterity, topaz, daybreak. Two handed. 21 to 30. What kind of biz you got? Pelagia. Pelagina. 23, 23 to 33. What was that? Hmm. Oh no, it's it's already fully uh, enchanted. Destroys spirits on hit. 
That sounds pretty cool. Can I go out this way? Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Back to... Time to see and not be seen. Oh, hi. Junk. No problem. What's this called? Soul Adra Prison. So here's where all the souls are trapped. And hmm. what Hylia wants us to do My eyes is are to release the souls back. Oh, hi. How are you? If I tempt you to come over here by shooting you in the face Let's with an go. arrow, will you jump? Will you trigger that trap? Is that something that happens? Well, then switch to your... Who's over here? Switch to your handgun if you can't reach him. Hi. Through there now? I'm ready. No? That's fine. There! Done! Cool. Yeah. Can't you can't you I do something about them ribs? Can't can't do anything about that trap. If I just tell y'all to walk over here, are you gonna? What? Sheesh! Almost fucked it up, Durrance. What? No problem. I feel like a cutscene's about to happen. Seems like a big ass room. Is there anywhere else to go? It's not important. See, cutscene, can sense it. Big ol' room. Who dis? New soul, who dis? A column of Adra rises above you, stoic and silent. Its ridged, ridged layers a measuring stick for the passing of ages. It feels to you as a thick block of ice, and you perceive buried deep in its core a dim, flickering flame, all but extinguished, yet preserved against the ravages of the elements. At your approach, the flame seems to steady and draw strength, and the layers separating it from you uh, melt away, and you are bathed in its glow, a bright beacon in the gloom. The glow seems to fade, as though you had adjusted to its intensity, and where it was, Iovara seeps into existence, and... Idolic? 
shade hovering above the moist prison floor. Why is it moist? Though ageless, she appears somehow different to you now. A slight stoop to her carriage, perhaps, or a trace of sunkenness in her eyes. There is a broad scar across her face, fibrous and wormy, where flames once lapped, unhealed even in death. You've come back. I had thought to have set you on the right path ages ago. Or did I merely fail a second time? You are so different now from who you were then. Yet much remains the same. Old troubles with a new face. What is it that has brought you here? Uh... I mean... Can you free her? A gallant gesture, if a bit misguided. And yet I suspect there is more to this than you have said. I can only guess your presence here has something to do with Theos. Correct. The energy of this place changes when he is near. I don't know what he has done, but I do know of the souls that pass through here now. They do not come by choice. After all this time, he would still stand against the tide. I will tell you what I remember. I can see his influence, still hanging like a weight about your neck. So it always was. He had inspired something in you. We spoke of him the last time you were here also. It was just after the trial. You were agitated. I think because you started to consider that what I was teaching may have been true. That the gods aren't real. Oh. <laughs> I dreaded the idea from the moment the Delamgon suggested it. And yet, it almost feels like a relief. But who talked to us? Who told us, gave us this quest to go kill a dragon? And to kill this lion? And to kill these other two guys? Though they seem... Real. They talk to us a lot. She's not serious. I don't know, man. <laughs> Perhaps not to her. Many are those whom the gods have scorned. This is petty retribution. <laughs> There's a theory puts my boldness to shame. But we ourselves have seen the gods' influence. Yeah, we're doing their bidding and shit. What I taught was that the gods whose faith we had been spreading were not gods at all, but something else entirely. Something created by people. Yeah, who created? Like they were conceived by Envy, a society of high minds and broad concern. Theos's people. In their time, every people worshipped its own gods. Sometimes they warred over it. After a few wars of their own, the Anguithans sought an end to it. They devoted all their energy to finding the true creator. Generation after generation, they prodded and worked the stitching of the world and unlocked its secrets. One day, they found an answer. Except the answer was no answer at all. There were no gods to be found. Or if there ever were, they were gone. So who is this guy Aeothus that was killed by this other lady, Magrin? They're both all supposed to be gods. I don't know. It shook them, this finding. If they could discover this on their own, how long until others would? How long before war and chaos reigned over a world without consequence? But they had mastered many things in their pursuit of these answers. And with their mastery, they crafted their own gods to fill the void. Mm. and sent missionaries to the corners of the world to spread their faith. I never thought of it as faith, but I think you are right to call it that. Let the world see. Let them decide what to do. That was my faith. I became a missionary because the gods brought me hope that I wanted to bring to others. For a time, the truth sent me to a dark place. Then the day came 
when I realized nothing had changed, that I still had a purpose, and the purpose was the same and it was worth living for. I began questioning the other missionaries in public, exposing their parlor tricks. In time, their following became mine. The Anguithan missionaries all knew it, but they never told the rest of us. They meant it to be a secret that died with them. And in the end, they allowed their bloodlines to fade from memory. I had been assigned to join a few of them at a temple. I found the door to their chambers closed, but the room was stone and the door thin. Their voices carried. I heard enough. I investigated the things they spoke of, and everything was there, just as they said it be. You asked me this once before. Nothing I can say would be any proof, and it may be certainty your soul craves. Resolution. But if you are bound for the same place Theos directs these souls, you will see for yourself, as you once did. Everyone faces this truth at one time or another. Few confront it. Few have the stomach to ask what if. And in avoiding the question, they deny themselves an identity of their own. What if all the tragedy, all the persecution, came in defense of an imposter? But that's not... That, that can't be right. Aethys, he... He's done miracles for people. The power of the gods is undeniable. The truth of the story they weave is not. What if it were forbidden knowledge rather than fault that earned your doom? What of your guilt? I have seen with my own eyes the deceptions of my gods. The Watcher has shown me as much. But it was not until now that I understood how truly desperate she was. The depths of her deception. You speak of her deceptions, but what of your own? Was it her words that led you down your path? Or was it the absence of her words? A gap that you filled with your own broken thoughts. What if you had always been alone, without guidance? Well, as poorly as I've chosen my guides, I suppose it would be a comfort to know that I'm free of them. The freedom has always been. It was the guidance that was the illusion. If all our common threads are spun from a lie, what's left to bind us together? All of us across Aeora are trying to survive, to make sense of the world. What could better bind us together than that struggle? We'll find our own truths. Make them if we must. We don't need an ancient lie to bolster us. United. The Anguithans created gods, mortal men and women, coming together to do the impossible. Let us surpass them. What if even mastery over all things cannot answer the most basic of questions? I stopped asking those questions long ago. It is enough to care for those we love with the time we have in this life. What if we can be assured of nothing? Uh... Uh... I don't know, man. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, creation. Verus, we find purpose in ourselves and in the people in our lives. There is bliss to be found in the things we create, but sorrow as well. Every creation bears the imperfections of its creator, and its creator's creator. Art and song are creations, but so are weapons and lies. We must be careful that our creations do not consume us. 
I ask these things not to trouble you, but to show why they must be confronted. No answer is simple, but somewhere between them all lies a truth so beautiful, not even a god could conceal it. Do we not owe ourselves a chance to find our part in it? Mmm. Sure? If that is truly what you believe, then you are a far different person than the one I knew. I've been alone here with my thoughts for so long now. I found peace with my failures and with my punishment. I no longer curse fate for what might have been. But there is one thing that has clawed and scraped at my mind all these years. One thing that will not be put to rest until I know. Until I understand. I need to know why you chose to remain with the Inquisition. Even after you'd learned the truth. Do you... Do you remember? I don't remember shit. This was a past life that I don't remember shit about. Oh. It springs to my mind immediately, huh? <laughs> um, sorry, there are no assurances. This is, seems like a dick answer. We knew little of each other before you arrived at my camp. You might have been anybody. Which is why your choice meant everything. You had heard both sides, seen everything. If not you, then who? I, this is true. This is fucking true just because the world right now doesn't matter if you know true things. People are gonna believe not true things. I expected dissent, but I needed to know that true faith would prevail. Perhaps I've been wrong to place so much importance on one person's actions. It was all I could do to feel like there was an answer. You denied me a chance to know your reasons. But even if you hadn't, some part of me would always know it didn't truly answer what I wished to know, nor will an eternity of silent contemplation. I will have only my guesses and suspicions, and that will have to do. I mean, do I get any... I don't fucking know. I don't like role-playing, I told you. And what if your understanding <sighs> Are you at ease with the choice you made? So, this I bear no responsibility for. This is a very Trumpian thing to say. I see the world differently now. You have always had my forgiveness, no matter your reason. There are circumstances behind that reason we all share. Knowing that, it is difficult to hold spite in one's heart. I don't know. I hold spite really good. At first, I thought this might be the source of your soul's anguish. But now I see I was mistaken. You are not divided on this matter. You have put it behind you. It is with Theos that your agony lies, inside Shadow. Your questions are not for me, but for him. Yeah, I don't even know who you are. And it may be that only an answer from the mouth of Theos himself will satisfy your needs. Yet if there is anything I can tell you that would be of use, Ask and you shall know. In a matter of speaking, this is Freya Fionn, the court of the penitents. Souls are confined here until they repent. They must beg the forgiveness of a god, pledge their soul to them, and they will be lifted from this place to the world above. In truth, they receive leniency, but not true mercy. The spite of Wittica is eternal. They linger above, at the side of the old court, and are not permitted to leave the island, forever severed from the cycle. So if there are no gods, how can Wodica do anything? <laughs> Isn't she a god? <laughs> this is obnoxious. This prison was full once in the days of the Inquisition. But time weathers all things, even will. I'm the only tenant who remains. Oh. Yet, I feel 
feel their presence strongly now, as it was in the beginning. You've brought many of them here. Cry out for the judgment of Theos. You have struck some bargain with the gods, then. Um... I mean... But yeah, fuck Wodica. I don't know. Better to be on no side at all. Wodica may be the most dangerous of the gods, but make no mistake. Angwith built gods from ideals, and an ideal on its own is a grotesque and vicious thing. You said Wodica may be the most dangerous of the gods, and here you say there are no gods. Which is it? But these souls, these forgiven the gods have bequeathed you like chattel. They were loyal followers in life. They will be with you to the very end. Yeah, why don't you repent? Last time someone asked me that, I was bound to an iron wheel with a broken spine. There are many things I've come to doubt about the choices I made in life. But that trial was my one moment of certainty. Even without a chorus of gods to tell me I had been right, the gods need to be reminded that we have a spirit, and that spirit is proof against their power. They have the power to manipulate and confuse and ruin us, but not to change our will. I will remain here until the world crumbles and fades from existence with joy in my heart, knowing I've shown them what they truly are. That's a lot of spite. I thought you said you didn't like spite. How is it you speak, Adiran? Do you know what it is, it is I need from Theos? I can't say for sure. But you have been to Sun and Shadow before. And it came at a crossroads in your life, when much of what you knew had been upended. I have to believe it will come to you there. Your concerns then were of loyalty and trust and the gods. Everything I told you seemed to send you further into doubt. His words mattered to you when you knew him then. After you and I spoke, you went immediately to seek him out. Perhaps you simply sought confirmation from the man you trusted. Something from that time still troubles you. It may be something he told you then, or refused to tell you. He keeps secrets better than any in this world. He cares only for the secret he keeps locked away. He destroys anyone who might discover it, no matter their chances. What is he? What's his secret? That's why he's always favored Wudika. It isn't in her love of promises or justice. It's her disregard for the rules. Her willingness to do what's necessary. To Theos, she's not a deity, but an ally with which to conspire. When her power waxes, she does as she pleases with this realm, as well as hers. And she wants that secret guarded as much as he. Okay. If Theos succeeds, there will be a shift in the balance of power among the gods. Wudika was vanquished once, when the other gods decided she had gone too far, and her power diminished. With this infusion, there is no telling what she will do. The only certainty is that there will be chaos in their realm, as well as ours. You will not find a more resolute being on all of Aeora. There is no offer you could make, nor spell you could cast, nor pain you could inflict that would make him reveal what he hides. But I see you have become a watcher in this life. Perhaps in defeat, when he can no longer defend himself, you might learn something from him. Let's hope. Theos will not wait for you. If you do not catch up to him now, you may never find him again. Um...
Yeah, come with me, man. If I repent, all I have done has meant nothing. It's an illusion, man. Um, I don't want to do that. Yeah, okay. I will respect your wishes. Your soul deserves an end to its suffering. I'm sorry I wasn't able to grant it myself. May it come to you swiftly. If ever we should meet again, in this life or any other, I hope to find you in peace. That was a lot of talking. Let's fucking save it. We're gonna keep going, though. I wanna fucking beat this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody watching. I wanna, I wanna see. Uh, let's see. Eovara? I wanna see if uh, this says anything about her. Let's see. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. There's, in this walkthrough, there's just a, uh, it's like, find Iovara's soul prison, uh, soul prison in this place to the northeast. Speak to Iovara. Then the next, it's the next step. So there's, I don't think there's anything that can be, uh, changed. Or, I mean, it's, you're just talking to her forever. Thank you. Man. I'm gonna call- No, 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 no. I'm gonna call this new save file chatty. Yeah. Kathy. How do you spell Kathy? I think you spell it with a K. Oh god. I'm very tired. I wanted this game to be over. Where do I go? Eh? Go, like, find traps and stuff. Oh, hey, cool. So, it's true. The gods are a sham that people have followed for thousands of years. I mean... Oh, they all got stuff to say. You want to talk, hey. br buddy? Yes. You seem to have stuff on your mind. We've been lied to. Our whole lives, and many lives before that. And it's led us to put our faith in a pantheon of gods that never deserved it in the first place. Uh... Uh, I mean, what do you, I don't know, what do you think, bro? You're right. People would be better off finding direction on their own than following this farce. And besides, the gods haven't exactly done much to prevent us from slaughtering each other. If anything, they've only given us more pretenses for doing so. The slaughter seems to come whether there's a god involved or not. If it wasn't a god justifying it, it would be some other thing. 
I think so. I've also been thinking. There won't be much left of Theos by the time you're done with him, if I know how to operate. That will leave the Leaden Key headless. Perhaps it's best it stays that way. I mean... Right? Then let's face Theos. When this is all over, I'll make sure that no one is able to commit his abuses again. Um, hey. hey there, you got stuff th you thinking about too? Well, doesn't that just beat off? Here I was, wondering all this time whether all these terrible things were people's fault or the gods. Turns out they might be the same thing. Wonder how things would have gone different 15 years ago if the raid Sarens had been told their god was made in some forge or kiln someplace. Would we still have gone to war? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I could see the rebellion still happening, but I don't know that they would have invaded. I don't know. When Woden left for war, we uh, had a fight, as brothers will. About him going off the war. He was set on it. My parents warned him. They said you get a new country with every trip across the border, but your God, you only get the one. For me, I didn't know who was right. All I knew was I didn't want him to go. It's the same for families as it is for gods. You only get the one. And I said every vicious thing I could think of, trying to change his mind. Brushed it off. Just got me madder, of course, him being so calm. He said I should come with him, but he'd understand if I didn't want to. I told him he'd better be able to face his God one day and answer for what he'd done. He said he'd keep that in mind. And then he was gone. And by the time I had cooled off, months had passed. One morning it dawns on me that my brother always knew better than me. If he was so sure of what he was doing, then I should be there with him. I packed my things and was on the road that same morning. Of course, what I didn't know then was he'd already changed his mind. By that time, he was dead on my feet. Crossed my mind. We live in a place like Gilded Vale. You don't have a whole lot else to do other than think about things you don't want to think about. I hope that wasn't it. I hope he went there because it's what he thought was right. But it seems I'm not meant to know. If I'd have left with him, we'd both be dead, so... I don't know why I bother thinking about it. He asked me to trust him the day he left. He said if I went with him, he'd make sure we were on the right path. And he deserved that. Deserve that trust from me. Raid Saris is a long way to walk on your own. I think I'd have liked to have been there with him on that journey. Even knowing how it ended. Still one more mess we gotta straighten out. Come on then. I still owe you one. Okay. I'm glad not everybody has something to talk about. Got it. Uh, just everybody come with me, how about? Oh, this goes fucking down. Is that the right place to go? Sun and shadow, this is where it goes. Oh. Hey, dick. Here, stupid. The AI of this is very dumb. Can you reach him? See, look, you could totally reach him all the fucking along. Maybe 
Maybe. Yeah. Why don't you come over to me? Are there any traps? Maybe? Ooh, wow. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Time for ogres. Guys, keep working on this boy. Continue your work, your bludgeoning work. Fantastic. Oh, I just want to beat this game. Eh? I gotta work tomorrow. No problem. Is there a trap on this? This won't stop me for long. Yes. There! Done! That's fucking bullshit armor. How dare you. Anything else? Is there something in here? No? Nothing? over here yeah there's more stuff over here hey dicks if you can't reach just shoot him over the top Need to shoot from afar anymore, buddy. Go fuck him up. <laughs> that edge of reason, uh, Soul of Adra prison. Hmm. Fantastic. Alright, go back here. This seems like the place. Uh oh. It would seem there was a trap. Should we sleep one more time? I mean, there's no harm in it. And maybe we'll get one of those last minute uh, chatty chats that you sometimes get when people sleep. Nope, nobody got nothing to say? All right, I'm gonna save it. Because this seems like end of the road. It better fucking be because it's midnight.
out here. Ain't nobody on, even though I played two hours. No, bro. Ain't gonna happen. Your pages. Let up. Cherry bombs in time. Where were the comments? I see. They were off in the corner. Ugh. Last place? Question mark? I definitely don't have time to edit my audiobook chapter like I wanted to. All right, let's get the fuck out. Let's hope we, in 18 minutes, so it'll be less than two hours time that we've been playing this garbage. of the ancients. Shirts for Theos. Hello. Is everyone still there? Can you not see? Ring of searing flames. What is that? Can y'all not see? Grant's combusting wounds. time event. Are these the souls? Ooh, they cleared away the business. Ooh. Whoa. That's very fancy. Surprises up to you. Look at that. A city to put all others to shame. And long lost. We light our own path now, Watcher. Can you do that again? Uh, I had something in my eye. Missed most of it. It is the best one. Of that, there is no doubt. Diamond. I don't think any of this crap helps me. Are there things to kill? Yes. Ooh, what are you? What are you, ugly? With the shade. speed is this like uh what you call it what was that place that had the volcano
Start with a P, I think. Damn it, that's gonna bother me. Oh man, that dragon was. There's a dragon. Some of the uh, sweet, sweet ogre action. Sure. So anytime there's weird smoke around, find the purple glowy bit. <laughs> That's what we have learned. Walk of Souls, Guardian's Dome. I'm glad I thought of Pompeii. Minor Bracers of Deflection. Um, let's see. What kind of bracers you got, dog? Oh, is it, get, get these deflection. I, I haven't been using that bullshit. All right, more, more, more fog. Let's let's find the purple. Oh, what are you, Mr. Purple? The shadows in the cavern suddenly lengthen and swallow you. When your eyes adjust to the darkness, you find yourself in the midst of what used to be another vision. You are surrounded by mists. The ground feels springy under your feet. You imagine that, as soon as you take a step, the soil beneath you will erase all trace of your passage. As if on cue, the mists before you clear just enough for you to take a couple steps forward. You do, and the fog closes behind you. You continue for several minutes in this manner, one step at a time never seeing more than the ground right in front of you. Eventually, rays of light through the haze and you find yourself facing a canyon wall. Palagina's head violently snaps to one side, her eyes tracking some unseen threat. She puts her hand to the side of her face where two of her feathers have been cut short near the base. Tufts of down float in the air. Something whizzes past you. Just as you turn, you catch another whir of mo movement. Out of the mist flits a shape, small and round. You think you see another, and another. They tickle the corners of your vision. You turn back toward the canyon wall, to the canyon wall. The sun shifts along its path, and what looks like a smooth rock face is the hollow of a cave. A figure steps out, its features shifting and changing before your eyes. He who sees and is not seen, save when he chooses, it seems. Kana regards the figure with a wary fascination. I thought the god of mystery is my chief enemy at times, but one cannot seek out answers if the questions aren't there. The figure transforms from male to female, the Orlan to Am Amawa, its bones lengthening and its fur receding into its flesh. The only detail that remains constant is the smooth eyeless face. The whizzing rushy rushing shapes from the mist converge on a figure, the figure, and as the form as they form a spinning cloud, you realize that they are eyes. You understand the value of a mystery watcher. A buried scroll, a hidden truth. These are my ways. Oh, th this whale was who we, like, hid that scroll. You yeah. unravel a thread, watcher. One you have lost and discovered over generations. 
and following it to its end has only brought you back to the beginning. What are you talking about? Is this where I say? I don't know. A nebula of souls, blind and brimming with potential. The answer to Woodica's question and the beginning of yours. What would you do with them? See, this is the, the choice. A song the world knows and tires of. The droning chorus repeated again and again. Better the improvised melody, the unfolding chant. The listeners sit rapt, and just when they think they have the tune, it changes again. Even the gods require fresh mysteries. Yeah, what end would that serve? No end, Watcher. That is the purpose. None know. They could end up anywhere in the realms of gods or mortals, whole or divided. Discovering them again and charting their course through the ether would be a new mystery. Farewell. That is a word for endings, and this is but a crossroads. Even I do not know what you would choose. That sounds stupid. I'm gonna do what Hylia says. She seems the least crazy. Alright? I'm all about the least crazy answer. Oh, here's here's more purple. Oh my god, another fucking dragon. Oh my god, how did Kana, how did you fucking get shit fucked so hard? Um can't, don't you have some sort of lay on hands? Yeah. <laughs> And then you, how about just do this for everybody? And you, get out of here, man. Okay, let's, let's kill the dragon. Kill the dragon, kill the dragon. Some ogres. Oh. Give them a good whack. It's, I can't believe you could knock down a dragon. Yourself, right? Maybe knock that fucker down again. Thanks, dragon. Did you die? Where'd you go? Big dead stupid body. Y'all are no doing problem. great. I'm 
boy. Brave does he not. Trap. All right. Back up here. What is this? Court. Oh man, I just, I just really, really want this game to be over. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh crap. stairs. Can I not go down here? Where the fuck am I supposed to go, bitch? Guardian's Dome. Court. Is there something here? Is there a door? Yeah, it's a door. It doesn't obviously look like a door. I, I gotta imagine this is the end. Please be the end. One final fuck. And then all the troubles is over. All the troubles. And I'm not gonna make my two hour deadline. Imaginary deadline. I didn't make the noon deadline or the midnight deadline either. Okay. Machine. I want to save. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to play after this. This has been quite an ordeal. It's such a long game. How? No. So tired. So tired. But whale can suck a dick. That's what I figured out. No whale. Fucking obsessed with mysteries. Am I just gonna have to go in a big old fucking circle, like a spirally circle?
Who are you? They, oh god. Quick save. Let's talk, bitch. Are you ready to take the oath? To spread the word of the gods to the lost and the heathen? I see. Ring of Unshackling. What is that? Suppress Affliction. Those are handy. I think everybody's got rings of the ass. I am trusting you to remain loyal to the gods of this. Mm -hmm. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. But you will answer to me as well. Okay. Ooh, broad belt of power. Um, you, my friend, needed a belt. You shall have it. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wouldn't ask this were there any other choice. Uh huh. What are you asking? Of my past self. This is a missionary, same as I was. Taught the wrong things as I was. Osionis. They have held off many would be invaders. I mean, this is our discussion. You are ready to give a confession? I am ready to hear one from you. All right. If this doesn't go well, we could probably sleep and let... All right, where the fuck are you, big boy? Memories of the Ancients, complete. Theos cannot be far. Let's go around the edge. What are these? Warm to the touch, eh? Man, this is a big fucking machine. What up, bitch? You've come to a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. At the far end of a great pillar of adra pierces the floor below pierces the floor from blah, 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 floor from below like a ragged spike. Its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they are all questions. At the base of the pillar stands Theos, a look of concern on his face as he notes your approach. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all others, spinning madly in your mind, but you don't dare ask it yet. You need some admission from him first, some hint of, of veracity of your suspicions. You are far from your post, Inquisitor. What brings you here? Um... I mean, am I supposed to? They are monuments to Woodica's greatest servants among my people. I hope to join them myself one day, but my work is not yet complete. It has many uses, but its purpose is to bring structure to the chaos that surrounds it. We are in a sanctum holy to Woodica. There are others like it in service to the other gods. I come here often to pray for her counsel, and in this space I may be assured that she hears me. The Inquisition was based on the need to cut the flesh from a rotting wound. That woman sought only to destroy the foundations of peace and civility that my people sacrificed everything to build. What is a god? 
Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked? Something men can turn to in their darkest moments when their days seem only like bridges from one tragedy to the next. Our gods are all these things. With Theos' every word, you find yourself losing control of a boiling cauldron of rage and doubt and fear and hopelessness until you can take it no more. We're in a sacred place within earshot of the gods themselves. This is not the time. You've been through much these past few months. You will return home and you will rest. When you feel you have recovered, you may rejoin us at the trials. The Inquisition is far from over. I will have need of you. There are many who continue to spread the lies of the apostate. The Inquisition will not end until we have pronounced judgment on all of them. So he's afraid. He was afraid. How did you find it? Another in a string of acts of petty defiance. For all her knowledge, she always preferred spite over reason. Then she should have obeyed. I asked one thing of all my followers. She was incapable. A waste of rare talent and intellect. What of your cohorts, then? follow you to their deaths. Is it loyalty that brings them here? Or is it as my agent suggests that they have no direction of their own? <laughs> mm. You. You worshipped Aeolus, did you not? Your spies are good. What gave me away? The cake? Yet when your god needed you the most, you chose your country. We were being invaded. Not by anyone who was acting like a god. Then I should think your hometown gave you a hero's welcome when you returned. Well, they made cake. And I think you can expect folks to get jumpy when the gods aren't there to reassure them. Maybe if they weren't all too busy trying to kill each other. The gods argue over how best to prevent Kith society from destroying itself. These disruptions would not be necessary were mortal instinct not so diseased. You have devoted yourself to studying the work of my people. Why? I thought your people had much to teach us. That we too could create great machines, improve our ships, make an empire as vast and impressive as yours ever was, built upon your secrets. And did you ever consider that these were things you were never meant to understand? That their comprehension is beyond you? You are living in the time of my people, Amawa. You owe them more than you will ever comprehend, and so it shall ever be. Greater civilizations than yours have attempted to reclaim what we buried. The greater their successes, the worse their fates in the end. I have seen to it. You built a weapon that delivered exactly as promised. I served my goddess as you did yours. Yet the other builders were slain, eleven of a dozen. Why not you? Were you somehow different, redeemable in your god's sight? Whatever desire I had to be redeemed in her eyes was weakness, purged by the Watcher's sight. Or was it merely that your goddess wanted you dead as well, and your delusions of importance prevented you from seeing the obvious? A whore's beguiling charms, nothing more. The spell's broke now. The trial's over. I know friend from foe. And I've come here now to see a foe repaid. You were able to destroy a god because another god wished it. Without her hand to guide you, you could not strike at a god any more than you could strike the sky. You are impotent, and not just from the pots. I understand your duke's bell gave you a mission. Their orders do not absolve me of my greater responsibility to the safety and well-being of the Republics. Yet you disobeyed. 
Something you already have a reputation for. They will know, of course. If it had been for a worthy cause, they might have forgiven you. But I don't see them pursuing animancy after seeing what it's done here. They trusted you. And you disappointed. As you always have. And you will again be disowned. The parents scold, but the children are safe. Whether animancy research continues in the Republics or not, they will survive. For now, that's enough. In any case, I wouldn't be so smug about my faith, Deus. I imagine Woodaker responds to disappointment much more severely than even my books. State your name and purpose, young acolyte. My name belongs to the gods and my hand to their service. You serve none but yourself. Without contact with your order, you can have no higher purpose. Only the base concerns of the flesh. You have cast yourself from our ranks. And I should have done it years before. I'd rather live in uncertainty than servitude. And that uncertainty would lead you where it leads everyone. To doubt, to emptiness, to the many cruelties inspired by disbelief. You will have to forgive your Grandmaster for remaining skeptical of his initiate's choices. You are here because you are lost. The gods cannot reach everyone, I'm afraid. May you fare better in your next lives. I gather you have had your soul awakened. Why else would you shadow my footsteps like some stray mongrel? You think I have something to offer you, but our business was concluded long ago. I answered your questions once. That your soul is not fit to accept the answers is of little concern to me. I lied to no one. Not to you, not to anyone. The gods are real. They are everything we need them to be, and the world is better for it. I got an achievement for choosing that particular thing. Attain rank in at least three dispositions. Oh. Weird. Can I, can I see what those are? No. I don't know. Okay, you deny that shit. The spread of our faith ended many such atrocities. I do what I must to ensure it continues to do so. The heart of this country has skipped a beat. Nothing more. I have done far worse. I plunged the peaceful kingdom of Telosus into civil war. I slew the monarch of Desantio, whose people never knew hardship under his rule, and replaced him with a cruel despot who brought them to ruin. When plague arrived at the great city of Arborensis, I saw to it that the cure did not. Piled their dead outside the city in heaps that rose above their walls. It is to show the proper perspective. There was a time, back when your soul was still a shapeless mist, when the world believed only in false gods. Thousands of them. Gods that told them to take slaves. Gods that told them to make war upon their neighbors and devour the slain. Thanks. Gods that told them to burn their children alive and cover themselves in the ashes as a sign of their faith. But all that changed when they learned of the true gods. Our gods. All those misshapen, bestial instincts melted beneath the radiance of our gods' majesty. You could see it in their eyes. That dull emptiness replaced with the glimmer of There is no false hope. Only hope for things that never come. Have you imagined this existence? The one the apostate would have created? We are not all so virtuous as she. Without our gods, the most wicked, the most tyrannical, they would take that power for themselves. But more than that, it would be a hollow existence. All mysteries forever unanswered. All purposes meaninglessness. No endings to bring closure. Only a wheel turning without mercy, grinding our 
our spirits to dust. For all my years, I have seen exactly what they are capable of. What the apostate asked was beyond any man. All I have seen, the millennia of experience. I will not be dissuaded from this course. This is the only way. We are all controlled by our own doubts. Better that we should be relieved of them. With your soul and thousands of others, I will see this world purged of its suffering. By creating a intense suffering. <laughs> Hear me, Woodica. Your servant calls for aid. Uh-oh. Uh oh, is the game gonna crash? It's got a little. Uh oh. Seems like trouble. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is he controlling them? Wodika's judge vessel. I'm gonna attack you. But I'm gonna send my squishies over here. Don't be lost, you leave. Injured. That's good. Let's see here. Continuous burn damage. That's good. Knock him down. Accuracy. Uh, let's see. Soul jump absorbs twenty damage. What? Hold on. Theos. What happened here? Is he still alive? Ooh. You need to... What is this? Uh, this gives me endurance. Can you please do the laying of hands thing? is good um you heal yourself also please and There's a withdraw. Do I not have that anymore? Oof. Chain lightning. Where are you going? Do you have... Okay, good. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. Okay, hold on. A, you get me ogres to give me a little time. And somebody has a thing where you revive, yes. Where are you, Durrance? Did you do the thing? Did you score the points? See, why can't I... Was he in a bubble? Like, what the fuck's going on with him? Shields for the faithful. So, hold on. Durrance, I need you to heal people. These people should be... But you keep getting knocked down. I understand. It's a trouble. You keep getting knocked down. I need you to heal them. Okay, great. And then also heal everyone, please. Injured. Can I please has another ogre? These give me Can you also heal him please? Okay. What? Okay, and you have some sort of healy heals that can maybe get all of us. And Kana, you need to step what? farther away. You too. Yes. So he's near death. That's good. Um, let's see, hold on. Maybe drink that. Maybe drink that. Maybe heal yourself. Good. Oh, Theos is still. If we can get. Okay, hold on. If we can keep a distance. If everybody. What is this? Oh. 
Let's see. Shit. No, here. Fucking fuck him up. Fuck him the fuck up. Sleep. Uh oh. You need this here. Fucking sucks. Okay. Okay. Switch. Switch. injured. This is bad. Very bad. Uh, killing, killing blow isn't really gonna help me. Can you revive somebody? No, we've used all our shit up. Great. Back to these boys. No, hold on. Hmm. Let's fucking shoot him from afar. Yeah, they are. Following your lead. Stand still. Oh 
great. We are super fucked. A gift rally. Let's <laughs> oh, we are so fucked. Need some oh no. This is the end. My only friend, the end. <laughs> Fucking suck. Okay. I will have to do this another evening. I am not going to stay up any later. Fuck, I really wanted to finish it this evening, but it's just not in the cards. I need to go to bed. I got to go to work tomorrow. Poo.